Throw out just about everything you thought you knew about Civilization VI when it comes to this Australian scenario, because this really turns the game upside down. So I really wanted to show off the scenario because it is unlike any experience I've had in the base game. So as you can see, here's the victory conditions over here on the right hand side. It is our job to make 500 gold per turn, 500 on Prince difficulty in 60 turns. Uh, so this is a hard scenario. I don't know if it's just me. I, again, I'm, I don't think I have enough experience with uh, these new kind of gameplay mechanics, but this is pretty tough and it is our job as uh, the Western Australian faction to go out and figure out what is going on in this extremely dangerous place and uh, you'll you'll kind of understand why I'm calling it extremely dangerous I guess I guess Australia is is really dangerous I didn't know that who knows I guess there's a bunch of scary things out there that could <laughs> that can kill you so we want to stay away from the Outback uh, the Outback is scary initially uh, now there is technologies and civics that can you know Kind of, it's going to slowly ease the process into exploring more of the continent. Uh, this is a pretty important uh, technology that we need to look out for because our units, in general, will be able to survive in the outback. Like that's how you know it's 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 pretty dangerous to go out there because we're going to be receiving a ton of little um, what are those things called? Scenario? Uh, they're called events that will pop up every few turns. There you go, events in a civilization game. Like that's that's really fun. Uh, that will do. You know, they they usually do bad things. They can they can do good things. So yeah, we want to, since I'm playing as Western Australia, we should go for Western Australia. I think the quickest way would be to go towards the south, and uh, let's explore the coastline. So all the factions receive plus three housing for settling along the coast. Uh, the game does want you, this scenario does want you to stay along the coast. They don't. You don't really want to move inland anytime soon, not, not in the first like 10 turns or so. So we're going to stay and look for rivers uh, and look for good spots. We're going to specifically look for gold. Gold is big in this scenario. So, uh, of course, the Civic Tree has also kind of been revamped for uh, this gameplay. Gold Rush is huge. We need to find gold ore. Gold ore is going to give us a ton of gold on the map uh, in terms of yield, so we can find that. It's usually going to be somewhere in the middle of the outback, so uh, we need to keep in mind exploration. And uh, the only way to get settlers also is through these uh, civic, uh, the civic tree. So that will be, you can't just, you know, load up the map with settlers. You really need to explore and think carefully where you're going to place uh, your cities. So we're playing around 1814, so we get to kind of go through the history of Australia here, which is pretty fun. So I don't really want to stay in uh, the... This is Victoria, right? This is the province of Victoria. I don't know. I really hope I'm right. A lot of people were excited when, you know, civil when Fraxis announced uh, Australia as uh, as the next Civ because people knew that I was going to say stupid things about <laughs> about Australia and, uh, and I'd embarrass myself about my lack of knowledge here. Okay, so I want to keep on going. Now, pastures are obviously pretty important because uh, as Australia, we get to do that little culture bomb when we... Uh, when we go after like sheep and uh what's the is it horses or yeah i mean animal livestock stuff cattle things like that so those are good to good to know Ooh, there's some tea right here now tea i don't believe oh yeah tea is gonna give food and science but again science isn't as important we're looking for gold baby we're looking for golds uh oh nice okay so we just got a, an inspiration because we've discovered enough sheep i guess is that what we needed yeah sheep rearing okay i guess that's what we might be doing who knows uh, again, I'm looking for probably a uh, some place along the coast. Now, here are some gems. Okay, so this this isn't bad. Uh, I I should have mentioned that we probably we have not probably we have four turns to explore the coastline, and then we have to figure out a settler is going to pop up. We have to figure out where we want to go. So uh, we still have a lot more kind of space to move. Okay, this is looking pretty good so far. Uh, again, everything is randomly generated, by the way. I mean, not everything. A lot of the resources are randomly generated. So, for instance, at this part of the map, uh, every single time the Great Barrier Reef pops up someplace else. So this time around, it's uh, it's up here, like in northern Australia. Uh, I probably should know the name. of. Is that Queensland? I think that might be Queensland. Uh, maybe I'm right about that. I don't, I don't know. So, okay, so let's keep on going. I think that's the spot that I want because that looks really... Looks really good. That looks like a good, strong economic start for the most part. Uh, and there's going to be, you know, some uh, some housing there. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to start doubling back around. So this is our first explorer. Uh, we can make more of these, of course. Okay, so colonial ships have arrived. We've recruited a ship of hardy souls to start your new colony. All right. Yes, <laughs> that's funny. We uh, we high we have high hopes for this band. Not all of them are convicts. Yes. 
Apparently that was the thing, which I kind of knew that. I kind of knew that. Wait a second, it's turn. Oh, I still have a little bit more time. So yeah, we're gonna go inland. I'm gonna just start going. Well, should I? You know, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should keep going for just a little bit more. Okay, so there's some cliffs over here. Because we get so much movement out here in the coast. Once we go inland, once we go into the outback, oh yeah, our, our movement is going to be pretty limited. Okay, so that's that's good enough. Of course, there's not going to be any gold ore right off the coast. They're not going to be, it's not going to be that easy. Um, okay, so we want to select the settler. I think we want to go right there. I mean, we could go near the oasis. That's probably not terrible. I don't know what's anything further in here. I'm going to take the... I kind of want to go here. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go right there. Boom. Okay, so there's cotton. This is not terrible at all. Okay, we have a mountain range here. So we'll get a... Uh, I think we'll still get the adjacency bonus for the campus. So that would be uh, that would be ideal. And uh, we probably want to send our explorers somewhere close by. That would be kind of get an idea of the, the general resources near us. All right, so let's go one more turn and then we'll get to settle. Uh, see, here we go. So here is the first like little negative event. Uh, our explorer has suffered 25 damage. That is going to happen quite a bit here. That's going to happen quite a bit. Now, one thing we've got to keep in mind, as the faction of Western Australia, we gain additional tiles uh, when settling cities. So everybody else gets different bonuses. I think Victoria gets like, I don't, oh, we can't actually see that, but uh, Victoria gets like an extra farmer or something like that, like a miner or something. Uh, one of these also gets it. And then, of course, Queensland has like this like little appeal bonus, which is similar to... Uh, with Australia in the base game of Civilization 6. So, yes, uh, we're going to probably, you know, I don't mind going exploring, Explorer. I would like an Explorer, but we do need a Harbor. So Harbor is going to uh, offer us a trade route. Pretty important in a gold scenario that we get trade routes as soon as possible. So uh, let's get the adjacency bonus right there. I don't think we're going to be able to reach out and get any. Yeah, we're not going to reach this tile. So let's, let's just build it there. Should take three turns. Hopefully our Explorer doesn't die. Really hope that our explorer doesn't die. And one technology I'd like to rush is banking. So we want to get out as many commercial hubs as possible. We want to we want to be able to maintain two trade routes too. That will be pretty important. So more than likely, two coastal cities, both with harbors. That should be able to boost that tech. And then uh, if we get to banking quicker, that, that'll be good. And we'll also be able to explore the, uh, the outback a bit more if we go with this technology first. So that's what I'm going to try. And uh, we're going to go after our first government type. So the governments only offer economic... Uh, policy slots. Ooh, this is a big mountain range. Okay, so let's go. We're gonna have to go around here. I don't believe we can heal in this, can we? Yes, we can. Oh, okay. So then, before we start traveling out into the outback, we definitely want to heal. Perfect. Okay, so uh, good. Very nice. Uh, we can change. We can actually have a government for the first time. We've got two choices. So we have fishers, which are pretty much like workboats from Civilization V, uh, or we can go with farmers. Now, do we have a lot of grassland territory? Y well, y ki kind of. The floodplains, we should be able to put down. I believe we'll be able to. Well, the grassland for sure over this way. But uh, we don't even have any sea resources. So I think there's really only one option here. And, uh, and that has to go with the farmers. So let's let's do that. Yeah, okay. So we're going to get a little bit of a bonus going for farmers. Uh, I, I don't really know if we're going to be able to get that lucky, though. Uh, we've got our first settler because we just got a penal co colony. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I don't know. Uh, we will not be able to ever research gold rush until we find gold. So we really need to find gold, gold ore. So we might want to really rush... Uh, explorers to go out into the outback and find out where where the heck this is. Uh, we can go for an additional government, but have a gold per turn, 15 gold per turn. We need to boost that first. So let's go into sheep rearing and then maybe switch to crown colony because that's really important that we get up two economic policies and then we get the settlers. So that that would be good. So you sit here and heal for just a second. Um, I I think this yeah I mean somewhere isn't bad. There's some iron over this way. Uh, one thing I, I probably should have mentioned is we have some pretty cool technologies out this way. Look at this. So, oh, actually, no, not this. Um, towards the later part, we get uranium. We have to deal with the first uh, or the second world war. So uh, we get like production towards uh, AI AIF projects. I'm not exactly sure what that is. And then gold from uh, mining improvements on strategic resources. So that'll be cool. Yeah, I think we want to oh man there's a lot of sea reefs or there's yeah there's some nice pearls over here and i think we might get access let's see here where did the ai settle okay so who is this uh we have south australia over here 
boom, there's Victoria, assuming. Yep, there's Victoria. And then we've got Queensland probably somewhere in the north, I'm guessing. I don't, I, I'm actually not sure. Oh, there they settled. Right there. They didn't even move very far. Look at us. We were the ones traveling the furthest. What's up with that? What is up with that? All right. Well, you know what? I think I will kind of stay true to my name, even though this isn't very safe. I'm looking for, see, you know, I don't know. I like the crabs over here. I just don't see any good air. You know, I think I might. <laughs> I keep, I, I don't know. I keep switching. Um, I think I might go right there. Maybe move it over one more. Uh, we, we're going to need him to, to get out probably in the coast because he's going to take forever. Yeah, we don't want him to travel through the outback too because that, that, that that's not going to go very well. Okay, so let's go to the next turn. So I think I want to go with the trader here because we know that we can boost uh, that second government. I think it's a colonial government if we get up a trader and make over 15 gold per turn. So we, I guess it's inspiration since it's a civic. But uh, let's go with the trader for now. And actually, let's make sure that we are managing the right tiles. Wow, we've got lots and lots of food. So that's great because all these desert tiles will be able to put down those uh, outback stations. So yeah, that'll be very useful for the extra gold. And then we're going to get a hold of sugar very soon. So that's great. Okay. So what do we got? Like, what do we got out here? Let's now begin to explore. So we've got T. It's okay. But we want to go... I, I'm thinking like right there to get access to all this stuff. Just right there smack dab in the center. So boom. And then we're going to get extra tiles because we're Western Australia. Uh-oh. Forgot to tether horses. A simple mistake in town. Less so in the outback. Uh, your explorer will not be able to move this turn. Okay. That's not horrible. That could have been way, way worse. Very nice. Okay, good. And now we just need to get a little bit more. Let's let's get up that harbor. Yeah, let's get that harbor up as soon as possible so we get a, a little adjacency bonus from the pearls. That's kind of why I wanted this this area. Uh, starved out by plague locusts. They ravaged the landscape of anything that could uh, sustain us. Your explorer has suffered 73 damage. Whoa. That is that is a lot. Um, let's stay... You know what? I might want to change the fissures... Let's stay with farmers for a little bit longer. I mean, I'm not even building any of this stuff right now, so it's, yeah, it's tough to say. Oh, wow, we already got it. Okay, so we have to go. Well, we don't have to. Uh, I can already begin my, my Outback stations, but I, I think I want the colonial government so I can get, an, uh, so I can get another uh, settler. Well, either way, I'm going to get another settler, and it's going to be about the same amount of time. Ooh, you kind of got... Well, yeah, economic policy is probably better. Okay, so this... Yeah, this is going to offer a lot more, I think, all around. So let's go Crown Colony, and I think we'll be able to boost it. Build three pastures. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Eleven turns. We'll get this guy out in seven. Oh, but we're going to grow. So you you never know. I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep moving. We might get unlucky. That explorer might die. That would be unfortunate. But, uh, yeah... Okay, we need to go inland. Yeah, I think I want to go in here. I feel like if we're going to find gold, it's going to be off the, off one of the rivers probably. Uh, led to water by Galaflock. We marched to where they settled. Beautiful birds, a bit gamey. Gamey? Your explorer has uh, has had 34. Oh, good, good. Okay, so we got some we got some uh, some of our health back. That's really good. And there it goes again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is the name of this scenario. That is like essentially this scenario here. Okay, so how are you doing? You're probably not doing very well. What are you working exactly? Okay, you're working this stuff, so you're not growing very fast. Uh, but in three turns, you get access to more tea. So I guess we'll stay with that. You're making lots of gold for me. Oh, yeah, I boosted it. Look at that. Boom, two turns. Oh, I didn't even mean to boost it. That's Okay, that's good. Um, I kind of want to follow this river. kind of want to follow this river for gold ore. It's going to be a tough thing to find. Okay, whoa. This went up to two. How did this go up all of a sudden? Wow, we are moving fast now. No amenities. Okay, hold on, hold on. We'll get, we'll get you, we'll get you. Dang, there's a bunch of food. That's why Perth is going to be a massive colony. Tons and tons of food here. Okay, that's that's good. Now I don't see where we're going to get a lot of gold, but you know, we'll we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out later. We're not worried about that. Okay, so in terms of uh, technology, we can go education, but I want banking really bad really really bad um let's do it okay wait a second now i can go trader here we probably we cannot purchase it why can't we do this your civilization needs okay so after that i can purchase a trader we probably want to go with a farmer 
Requires irrigation. Okay, so I won't be able to get up any amenities until we get uh, that technology or civic. Yeah, you know what? You need a fisher. Although, wait a second. Don't I have a production bonus already? I don't think we can wait that long. Yeah, I don't think we can wait that long. A pasture would be good too. You know, I'm going to go with the pasture here first because we do have access. Or it's a grazer, right? Yeah, because I want to put down... A, yeah, that makes... Okay. Yeah. And we can go with the trader here, but I'm not going to do... I'm, well, yeah, because that would just be wasting this whole this whole turn here. Uh, what would a lighthouse do? No, no, no. We don't want to do anything like that. Can't do a fisher. I, I would say a farmer. A farmer for this city in specific. That way, at least it keeps on growing. Okay, so hopefully this dude does not die. Uh... I'm, I'm really feeling it over here. Fruitless discourse with uh, Aborige, Aborigine. Aborigine. Aborig I swear I said it before. I can't say it now. <laughs> Aborigine. There you go. Uh, it seems their previous encounters with outsiders were negative. Oh, ouch. Okay, well, at least they didn't do anything. We just can't move this time. So that's that's good. And uh, food and production. No, I'm looking for gold, baby. No? Newly trained farmers. Maybe that would be good, but we already bought a farmer. So uh, production in all cities might not be a bad idea. I feel like I'm going to buy most of these these units here. I think I want production and food for the most part. Uh, but it looks like... Yeah, production and food since we're going to get out trade routes. So it looks like I'm going to stop right there though. So uh, we've got a lot of things to do. Uh, this should be a really interesting uh, series that hopefully things go well. we got to find gold, man. Got to find gold. So I'm going to have to go here first. Build three pastures, that's for sure not going to get boosted. And then urbanization probably isn't super uh, essential at the moment. But lots of things to do on Drew's to-do list. I think we really need to focus on exploration in the next video. Uh, it is pretty essential that we find something good, some sort of good economic spot. Uh, and probably continue to get up those trade routes is pretty kind of important too. With harbors and uh, commercial hubs, all that very essential <laughs> for something like this. But anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.